Okay, in this video we're going to learn about how to recognize acids and how to write their formulas and how to name them. An acid um, always starts with hydrogen, okay? So anytime you see a formula that starts with an H, you know that it is some sort of acid, okay? Now, um, hydrogen can bond with just an element or it can bond with a polyatomic ion. And remember that we have this chart of polyatomics on, uh, in your reference tables, um, and it lists all of their names here and gives all of their charges, okay? So when we have hydrogen bonding with an element, okay, we are going to use a prefix hydro. So we use a prefix hydro, and we add an ick or to the ending, okay? So let me give you an example, okay? So we have hydrogen, we know hydrogen is a plus one charge, and it can bond with chlorine. Chlorine is a minus one, so they're going to they're gonna, uh, form HCl, okay? And the name for this then, because it's just hydrogen with an element from the periodic table, we use the prefix and we add ick to the ending of the, the anion. So that is hydrochloric acid. Okay? Now if I have hydrogen with bromine, again bromine is a minus one, so I have HBr. This is going to be hydrobromic acid. Okay? Pretty easy, right? <clears throat> All right. Now, we can also have um, hydrogen bonding with a polyatomic. Let me just move this up here. So, we can get hydrogen to bond with a polyatomic. When this is the case, we have no prefix, okay? We just add ick. So just add ick, okay? So let me give you an example. We have some of the polyatomics over here. Let me make them a little bit more room here, okay? We have some polyatomics over here. Let me just pick one out that's a common one. Let's pick sulfate, okay? Sulfate is SO4 with a minus 2 charge. So hydrogen is a plus 1. Uh, SO4 is a minus 2. So again, remember we crisscross down. So we get H2SO4 is the formula. And because we have hydrogen with a polyatomic, instead of uh, using the hydro prefix like we did up here, we're going to have no hydro prefix. So this is actually just sulfuric acid. Okay. Uh, let me do one more. Okay. So let's let's do when hydrogen bonds with. Actually, let's do citrate because that one's kind of looks pretty confusing. So hydrogen bonding with citrate. Again, let me just slide it up here. Okay, so citrate, we've got hydrogens plus one again. Citrate is C6H5O7, is the polyatomic, and it has a minus three charge. So again, we're going to crisscross. So you get H3, C6H5O7. And because it's citrate and it's hydrogen with a polyatomic, we use no prefix, and this is actually citric. Acid.